happening. Um, hello, I am Gail Moak, the current president of Friends of La Leche League, and I'm here today to interview Edna Kelly, who's the past president of Friends of La Leche League. Hi, Edna. Hi, Gail. It's good to see you and talk to you. Yeah. So we are celebrating the 35th anniversary of Friends of La Leche League this year. So let's go back 10 years to when you first became the president of the board for Friends of La Leche League. What was it like for you? Um, I didn't, I've always loved Friends of La Leche League or the Alumni Association as we were called then. And uh, one, one of them I had got to know through the organization was Pam Oselka. And Pam approached me in Saint, um, in Florida, St. Augustine, Florida, about being, being involved with the board. And mostly because I loved Pam and the other people who were members of the board were such quality people that it made me want to be part of that group too. Um, and I had always enjoyed the activities at the international conferences I was very involved in, uh, I think it was 2005, with the Founders Parlor that we had then, and uh, ways to get better acquainted with people in the Alumni Association and Friends of Blood Lake Shooting. So mostly it was somebody reaching out to me mm -hmm. and making it sound like I could have a lot of fun with this group and uh, stay connected. Yeah. Yeah, I remember we were on the trip to St. Augustine and we got to see the, um, was it Our Lady of, well, I can't remember what she was called. Yes, Our Lady of Plentiful Milk. Right, from which the La Leche League name originally came. Right. So we right. got to see her in person. Right. Um, so you, I mean, I always think you volunteered at such an interesting, challenging time because first of all, we hadn't had a president for about three years. Uh -huh. We were operating without a president. And we had fairly recently become separated from La Leche League International. We were on our own. So that was a, both exciting to be independent. And I think we had also had a lot of apprehensions whether we would be able to succeed on our own. Right. So what, what, what did you feel about it? I uh, enjoy the aspect of being independent. And one reason is I am really proud of the fact that the Friends of La League is welcomes all leaders, former leaders and members to join. And you, even those who may have uh, left La Leche League in less than an ideal way, they're still welcome. We do not, politics does not enter in to uh, belonging to Friends of La Leche League. And I am really proud of the fact that we welcome every former leader and every member too, former member. It's mostly leaders who belong. So, so that was the challenge to make it seem like it was a welcoming organization for everybody. Then uh, over time, we managed to reinvigorate our relationship with La Leche League International because when we separated from them, they, they were, La well, Leche League International was going through some difficult challenges themselves, and they just did not have time to deal with us, even though we thought they should. <laughs> but as the years went by, we were able to reconnect with them, and I'm really proud of that, too. Mm -hmm. Yes, we've been getting lots of great support from them in the, in the last, yes. I don't know, five years or so. Yes, we have. It's been very nice. So we, um, so the chat, there's always the challenge of getting enough members. I have always, my personal feeling is that every former leader should be a member of the Friends of La Leche League. And I always wish I could figure out some way for every former leader to receive our literature, our emails, whatever, without having to pay. But of course, we have to have people pay in order to support the activities that we do. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's, but I wish every former leader would be a member. 
So speaking of our activities, what are some achievements or activities over the last 10 years that you're proud of? Ah, I am definitely proud of the many grants that we offer. These are ways that we continue to help mothers and babies. And some of the grants are so interesting. Well, they're all interesting, but some of them are very unique. And we have done it around for groups around the world um, and leaders uh, all over. So I'm, we've done two cycles and hope to do a third one. And I'm very proud of that. I'm also proud of the fact that we've supported La Legend League International by when they had the 60th anniversary. We were part of that celebration. Um, and we were also part of the celebration when they someone did a video mm -hmm. to talk about La Legend League International. So I'm very proud of that. We, we've stepped up to the plate. I'm also proud of the fact that Marion Thompson continues to be a member and continues to support us. And Mary Ann Kerwin would as well, if, if her health permitted. So we still have the founders involved in the Friends and that gives us a great connection. Yeah, they've everyone who's been able to travel has been invited and we did fundraising to um, allow them to come on the trips. Yes, exactly. And I was looking back in an old continuum to double check when you started as president. And one of the things the founders were saying is the three founders who got to go on that trip was they hadn't been together for that length of time in years. Oh, and yes. Appreciated so much that. Yes. Yeah. And they love being with leaders too. So we love being together. Isn't it wonderful that we have, these are women, strong women that we have, I have, friendships with. Maybe I don't see them very often. I wish we saw each other more frequently. But they are, when I am with them, I am just pick up where we left off. Yeah. Yeah. So when you think of Friends of La Leche League, what brings a smile to your face? Ah, a smile to my face. Mm, let me think about that for a minute. Uh, mostly it is the friendships and we do have on our uh, social media, we have people love reading our social media posts. They are wonderful. They are some of the best. And it's a great way to stay connected. So the trips, I wish everyone could go on the trips, but the trips, which we have every other year, but we didn't have one this year because of COVID, but uh, we've been in the practice of having them every other year. And I have gone on, I think every one of them, except the first, uh, trip down into the Grand Canyon. Oh. <laughs> but uh, there's just, well, I think about, there's a, one woman I see only on the trips and we laugh. We have, a, I have a, a mantra. It's called think, do. When you think of something, do it. Don't put it off. And she and I laugh about that all the time. She loves it too. <laughs> so these are just connections I have with people that, um, well, they're invaluable. No, women friends are the best. True. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, is there anything else you'd like to add before we conclude? Uh, well, I do learn interesting things about people. I remember, I think it was in Savannah. No, no, it was in Charleston. One of those, that one of the women, a couple of the women took motorcycle trips after. <laughs> after the, the official trip was over. I thought, these women are the kind of people I want to know. <laughs> they, I rented motorcycles and off they went. Yes. Oh, that was too cool. So, <laughs> I, I love, I love, I love the women in the Friends of La Leche League. So. All right. No, well, I think, great. Thank you so much for asking me these questions. They really made me smile to think about. Yeah. Uh, all the pleasure I've gotten out of friends and alumni yeah. over the last few years. Well, thank you so much. And I appreciate everything you've done as past uh, president and you've left big shoes to fill. Oh, but so thank, thank you. you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> Isn't it? It is. A lifelong connection. A lifelong connection. Yeah. I really do believe that. So. Yeah. I mean, who else, when you get have questions about teenagers, do you trust to ask or things yeah. like that? Grandchildren, whatever. Exactly. So, and, um, you know, I really do. 
I am really proud of the fact that we, as all leaders, are wel feel welcome here, even the ones who may have had some sort of um, yeah. um, tomp with the Malachi League International. Yeah. But uh, they feel welcome in our group. Mm -hmm. so, so the 